Hello and welcome. My name is Sarah Salem. I'm the Tenant Service Manager for SOMA, Solar on Multifamily Affordable Housing. We will be reviewing changes to expect with SOMA. We will cover the following items. VNEM and Utility Bill, Energy Saving Tips, Frequently Asked Questions, and What Handouts You Should Expect at the End of This Presentation. VNEM stands for Virtual Net Energy Metering. This is the way in which your utility bill will be calculated once you receive solar. The diagram below shows the following. One, the solar panels on your building provide energy. Two, that energy is then sent to the electrical grid and is measured by a solar meter. The electric grid is a network that is run by your utility company. It is where energy is delivered to homes, businesses, and other users in your community. Three, another meter measures how much energy is being used at your household from the electrical grid. And finally, four, your utility company will then calculate how many solar credits will be added to your utility bill. This will show best savings on your monthly bill. There are two different ways your utility bill may be calculated, tier rate or time of use rate. As a customer in the Southern California Edison Territory, you are enrolled in the tier rate structure, but may choose to opt into a time of use rate structure if you prefer. Tier rate structure. Your bill is calculated by different tiers or levels as seen in the graph to the right. Each tier has a specific number of units of electricity you can use. When you use all the electricity units in one tier, you are bumped to the next tier. When you move from one tier to a higher tier, you pay more money. There's usually two to four tiers in your utility bill. For more information, contact your utility company. Time of use rate structure. Time of use offers different rates at different times. This means that the price of each unit of electricity will vary based on the time of day that it is being used or consumed. Time of use rate structures have peak and off-peak hours. The electricity prices are higher during the peak hours. This may differ based on seasonality as well. Please be sure to contact your utility company to find out when your on-peak and off-peak hours are in order to help you save on your utility bill. Stay cool in the summer. By setting your thermostat at 78 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, you can reduce the amount of energy that is used to cool your home. Similarly, in the winter, you can reduce your thermostat to 68 degrees Fahrenheit or lower and wear cozy clothes in the home. Closing your drapes and blinds at night will help insulate your home and keep it warm during the night hours. Another way to keep your home warm and well lit is by utilizing natural light. Open your blinds or curtains to the light and it will heat your rooms. Another way to save energy is by replacing your light bulbs with LEDs. These are long lasting and will reduce the amount of energy you use to keep your house lit. Additionally, you can take shorter showers. Perhaps play a three minute song while you're showering to help you time how long your shower takes. Another way to save on energy is to increase your refrigerator temperature. Set your refrigerator between 36 degrees Fahrenheit and 40 degrees Fahrenheit and your freezer to five degrees Fahrenheit. If you have a dishwasher, make sure it is fully loaded before running a wash cycle. Additionally, use the cool dry cycle or turn it off after the final rinse and let the dishes air dry. You can turn off all lights when leaving a room, even if it's just for a few minutes. One way we lose energy is by not unplugging appliances. Power strips make it easier to turn all your power switches that are not being used off and can help you save energy. Now we will review some frequently asked questions. One, how do I sign up for bill credits? After the solar panels are installed on your property, your property owner will automatically sign you up to receive credits. Two, when will I see a reduction in my utility bill? You will start to see a savings on your utility bill after your property owner and contract receive permission from the utility company to turn the solar system on. Three, how much of a reduction can I expect on my bill? 
The reduction on your bill will vary based on the amount of energy your building solar system will produce, the amount of energy you use, and your utility rate. 4. Will my rent increase due to getting solar? Your rent will not increase due to the SOMA solar installation. The SOMA program guarantees no costs are passed to you, the tenant. At the end of this presentation, you should receive the following handouts. How will your utility bill change? And simple ways to save on energy. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach us at the tenant hotline 800-843-9728 or leave a comment at calsoma.org slash contact us. Thank you for joining and we are excited to bring solar to your home.